Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so I wanted to speak on these weird titles that I'm seeing, like titles that say like the iPhone SE killed the iPhone 8 and uh, death of the iPhone 8 now that the iPhone SE 2020 is here. Like, come on, man. Really? What kind of narrative are we pushing today? Okay. Let me just say this. The iPhone SE 2020 is going to sell very, very good. I mean, there is a market out there. Now, you hear that a lot, right? So there is a big general market of consumers who buy smartphones. But in that market, there are micro markets. And there are various reasons why these micro markets are there. There's a market of people who just chase $1,000 plus phones, you know, because they think it's some sort of status to their lifestyle. There's people who, who chase just the latest and greatest because they got to have the ultra techie and geeky stuff like whoop, whoop, switch screens, turn down the volume. You know, there's there's a market of people out there who are just brand loyal, Samsung, Motorola, LG. And then, you know, there's a market of people that are just like operating system loyal, Android, iOS. There's a market of people for retro tech. Uh, you may have the latest and greatest, but I rock retro, man. iPhone 7, Nexus 5X, bang, bang, there it goes. There's a market of people who are just looking to get a decent phone and not spend a grip of money because they are very conscious about what they spend. There's micro markets within this giant market. But let me just say this. For a, for a publication to say that the iPhone SE is the death of the iPhone 8, to try and emphasize that the iPhone 8 is just baloney. Yesterday's news cast it off into the world of darkness to sit in the recycling bin next to Nokia 3310s and whatnot. You are seriously out your mind, and who nominated you to speak for everybody? That's what I'm going to say to the person who wrote that article. Like, what were you thinking? And who nominated you to speak for me? Because I'll tell you right now, it, you know, there are people who are going to look at the iPhone SE 2020 and say 400 bucks is still too much for my blood. And, and I get that. And anyone who sits there and laughs at somebody, you seriously need to look in the mirror and like do some soul searching because not everyone's got a grip of money to spend. All right. And maybe they were very interested in the iPhone SE 2020 and they want some similar specs like that where the iPhone 8 is going to bring that to them. And you could probably find a very decent iPhone 8 probably for like 250 bucks if you're lucky 175 shoot i've gone on offer up and seen people sell an iphone 8 you know 64 gig going for about 165 dollars in, in mint condition i mean they took pictures of the phone all over not a crack in the back not a crack in the front the fucking home button's working everything's working just fine on the thing and they're selling it for like 165 so you might you might luck out you know um, you just gotta look at various places, whether it's Swappa, whether it's eBay, Amazon, OfferUp, Macari. There's various places you can find, you know, people that have phones that are trying to get rid of it because they've upgraded. Then you could probably snag yourself a good deal. But if you can't afford the iPhone SE 2020, well, then definitely an iPhone 8 is going to be closest to that. I mean, just a few hardware differences, but other than that, it's going to be pretty solid. It's got wireless charging. It's IP67 water and dust resistant. You know, same form factor, body design. As the iPhone SE. So for whoever the genius was who went to work that day and said, hey, I got a pretty good article. I'm going to write that about the iPhone 8 being dead because of the SE 2020. Yeah, you probably had one too many cups of Starbucks and just got way ahead of yourself. There are still older iPhones that are still solid and great. I still recommend iPhone 7s to people out there who want to spend no more than 125 bucks for it. This is a 128 gig and this one went for about, one, about 150. So, okay, you can find them pretty solid, right? And they're still good. IP67 water and dust resistant. No wireless charging, but that's okay. Apple had well, iPhones have so much accessories out there from third parties. I know that there's a brand called Honeycomb that has a wireless, uh, a wireless charging power bank that comes with the tags that you plug into the lightning port and you set it on the back of the phone inside of a phone case and you lay it down and it wirelessly charges. So you can make an iPhone 7 wirelessly charge. You just have to look around for accessories and let's face it iPhones are ubiquitous when it comes to accessories out there. There are so many cases you can find everywhere. There are so many power cases. There are so many things you can do to just make it so much better. So it's no secret that if you're trying to get like different accessories for the iPhone, you're going to find them just about anywhere. So even an iPhone 7 can be recommended. An iPhone 6S can still be recommended. So that's one of the things that I've learned about iPhones and iOS and Apple and their stuff is like their older, their older generation devices still run pretty good performance wise even though you know they're aging so in in shortness they age very very well so yeah the iphone se 2020 is not killing the iphone 8 as a matter of fact i feel like it's gonna jump start back sales 
of the iPhone 8 because if you can't spend 400 on the on the SE 2020, you're more than likely going to opt for an iPhone 8. And there are places that have the iPhone 8 for decent prices, less than $399 that you can actually pick one up for in fairly great to near mint condition. That's all I'm going to say on that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> definitely they had way too much of their Wheaties. But anyways, guys, that's my quick little rant about uh, did the iPhone SE 2020 kill the iPhone 8? No, it didn't. It did not. And uh, I'm going to stick by that. So, And if you are in the market of wanting to get the SE 2020, but you're like, it's too much for you and you don't want to wait till it goes down in price, then do look at the iPhone 8. Do look at the iPhone 7. Those are some options I'm going to say that's going to bring you a near close experience as far as performance wise um, to the, the iPhone SE 2020. Uh, mostly the iPhone 8 will. The iPhone um, 7, a little, little lower, but still, as far as it's a user, uh, user experience, it's pretty smooth. I will tell you guys that. Um, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's rant video, smash that like button to let me know. If you just subscribed to the channel, thanks so much for doing so. I really appreciate that. Uh, hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload another video. And if you're watching this on IGTV, thanks so much for watching it. Hit, you know, give a follow. I really appreciate that. And as always, aloha.